hi guys welcome to pro studios is promise Sebastian here again back with another awesome tutorial so you're going to be learning animation with this hand so we are going to be animating this hand to kind of do this wave it's doing now here in blender so this is the low poly file i sculpted here low poly object i sculpted here in blender so you, it's not going to stress your pc so i'm going to be showing you guys the blend file so you follow along okay now i'm going to be opening a new file i'm going to close this now so i'm going to pause now so it stops the animation i'm going to head over to file now new file now, and then uh, let's click on file and then take my mouse to new then head over to general now and then click on general so it's going to say save or don't save so i've actually saved this file so i'm going to click don't save so now i have a box as you usually have in blender here at the center so i'm going to delete this box now because i don't need it so we are going to get that file the blender file now that's the hand file so we, you get it as i'm getting it now so i'll head over to file now how you do that you go over to append here so if you like, click on append now so it takes you to whatever folder you save it so you should be careful or mindful of the folder you saved it so the folder i saved it i usually save stuff is by blender tutorial folder so this is the folder now and then this is the blend file here which is um the arm tutorial arm now so i'm going to left click on it now and click on append now so all these folders the object the workspace and all the whole settings used for that mesh now so that that is all this folder you see here that is how it works so now we are going to go over to object because that's the object you want to use so you can use the camera of that project you can use the amateur should in case you did um and you, you rigged the mesh okay so you could use the scene the texture a lot of stuff you could use here so let's go over to object left click on double left click on object head over to that hand because that's the hand we want to use okay so i'll just left click on the hand now and then click append so it's going to bring in the hand here for me so this is the hand i have here so i'm going to use the y plan 2d view so i'm going to click on the y axis now so i'm having the y plan 2d view so that is the x extended as is now we are seeing now so i'm going to add an amateur by clicking shift a now so i'll head over to amateur scroll down it's going to bring up all this option i'm going to scroll down to amateur now, and then single bones so i'll let's click on this single bone so it has added the bone for me bones are what you use to rig whatever character you have so we're going to be rigging this hand now so now click arrow now and then drag my mouse to rotate this bone to kind of keep it here and then g to grab and then place it somewhere and now you can see that my bone is at the back of this hand so i can't see so i want the bone to always be at the front so i'm going to be seeing it so what i can do is head over to the bone settings now scroll down and head, um let's click on this viewport and check this in front so now the bone is going to be in front so now I'm going to rotate this now. I again to rotate to kind of rotate it here. Then G to grab to kind of grab it here. So I'm going to rotate again. I again to rotate. Let's click when I'm okay. So now I've gotten this arm bone now. So I'm going to extrude the elbow and then the palm and then the fingers. So I'm going to let's click on the bone here and then head over to edit mode. I can click control tab or I go head over to here now and then let click and head over to edit mode. Or I use control tab and do that. So I'm going to press G now, like you press G on grabbing and moving your object and then drag my mouse to drag this bone and then let's click because i'm okay so i'll press e again i want to extrude the bone and keep it here so i'll let's click on this other bone because it's not it's not matching now g again to grab it somewhere here so i think this is great i'll let's click here g to grab it and place it somewhere here so this is great now so i'm going to get i've gotten the able i'm going to get the palm bone which is going to stop it, and then the finger bones so now we are going to do e again to extrude the palm bone which is going to stop here now then this is great so we are going to extrude, start extruding the fingers we press e again to extrude this most finger bone and then we want to disconnect this bone because the bones of the fingers will not extend from here to here so how do we do that i'm just going to left click on this bone and then alt p alt p now will now disconnect the bone so i'm going to click alt p or then you right click once you right click now you're going to see all these options separate bone or you get over to parent and clear the parent and then join it again so now let's use alt p alt p now and then disconnect bone instead of clear parent disconnect will disconnect the bone but then it's still connected to this parent here so i'm going to press g now and then grab it somewhere here you see if i move this bone now in post mode it is also going to move the other bone now this one will disconnect and let me move it so you see because it's, it's connected but it's now offsetted you see it has it's connected at a distance not here so that is how disconnect will but if you clear the prints it's going to clear everything let me click arrow to rotate let's head back to edit mode now so we'll continue with our editing arrow to rotate this bone now g to grab then place it somewhere here so i'm going to duplicate this one i'll right click now use shift d let me just right click and duplicate this one and 
let's click on the top bone and g to grab to grab it to get over here and then let's click on the middle here on the bone and then right click to duplicate the bone grab it to place it somewhere here and then left click on the top there g to grab it to grab it there then left click on the bone right click to duplicate the bone place this one somewhere here and then i think this one is big too much so we'll drag it inward and then let's click on this one again right click again du left click that duplicates the that's left click on the duplicate now left click on the top of the bone now g to grab then make this one smaller and then i'm going to left click on this hand bone now and then g to grab it to make it inward like this so now successfully rigged our arm so we are going to check the side view and make sure it's actually let's use the x plane view then we are going to use alt c so we're going to be seen through the mesh so we're going to exit this pose mode whatever to object mode we'll select the whole bone the whole bone is selected g to grab and then y and then drag it so it's at the center of the arm and then this is okay well, let's click now because i'm great with this so the whole bones are now lapping so now let's join the bone to the hand now so this is very very important here pay attention now let's click on the body first that's on the object or the mesh and then hold shift left click on the bone now so the two of them are, are, are left click now or selected so i'll click ctrl p instead of alt p this time so you have parent here that's to object to keep transform look at the one you're going to be checking with automatic width so look at what this thing does now so if i hold shift and go back now if i hold over if i if i select just the bone first and hold shift select the body and then head over to weight painting you can see now if i hold control and select any bone now you are going to see the the amount of the mesh the bone is controlling so you see all these bones now are controlling this this whole place that are red is the places that the bones are controlling and then if you head over to the object data properties you are going to see all these whole vertex groups assigned to this bone now okay so that is how it works and then let's try playing around with the pose now let me click on the bone head over to pose mode now then let's click on this arm now then let me use the plane that's the white plane view now then arrow to rotate so you see it's now rotating the hand and then if you let's click on this other bone now arrow to rotate so it's actually going to rotate the hand let's go back to the animation workspace so i'm going to click the animation workspace now so this is what the animation workspace your own will also look like so let's click on your scene and pan to your preferred view i think this view is okay so i'll, I'll hold shift and pan here or let's click on the middle mass and then pan through as i want so let me hold shift and move to the left and then i'm going to scroll in with my middle mouse button to zoom in now on this one so now i'm going to use the white flat view want the hand to kind of wave this kind of um um a by wave now so how do we do that we're going to start adding keyframe that is keyframe you use to animate so first let's make the hand to get here first then we'll add keyframe so i'm going to click arrow now then rotate the hand to somewhere here and then i'm going to click a to select all the whole bones now make sure the whole bones are selected now i'm going to insert um, a, a keyframe here as the bone are all selected so now i'm going to click i now which is used to insert keyframe or you can right click now and then you're going to see insert keyframe once you scroll down look at it here okay so now i'm going to insert keyframe i now location and rotation i don't want to scale it i just want to rotate it or move it to somewhere so that's why i need location and rotation so i'll just click on that now and it has added the keyframe videos are always in 24 frames so yours should be 24 frames so you can work with three three frames but that's three frames three frames so you get to 24 or you can do per frame that's one one frame that's going to be a lot of whole lot of work so i want i want the animation to be slow so i'm going to do this per nine frames so one movement is going to be per nine frames so i'm going to drag this somewhere here to nine the ninth frame here i'm going to scroll in. so if you scroll in you kind of zoom into the frame if you scroll out you kind of zoom out from the frame okay so i'm going to left click and hold my middle mouse button now pan through and then keep this my marker here or indicator here on the ninth frame now so now i'm going to do the animation that's do the action i want it to do then animate it so i'm going to click arrow now to bend the hand to somewhere here I think somewhere here is great now so we are going to add another keyframe now so we are going to hold a again and click i to insert a keyframe or then you can on your record button to record the action you just did and then add a keyframe to it so i'm going to click i now insert location and rotation now it's going to if i if i slide to the left you see the action now have been recorded so i'm going to you know what what it did here is also what it's going to do after it comes here so we're going to copy this one and place here so it's going to go back to where it started i'm going to make sure all of them is selected click on this first keyframe control c now and then move over to the next ninth frame which is on 18 because on the 18th frame that is 9 plus 9 that's 18 so we're going to place this one now 
So we are going to reduce the size of this. Um, you see the end here. This is the start. It's starting at the first frame that's starting at one. We're going to make the end frame to stop at 18. So at the exact amount of our keyframe, that's where it's going to stop. So this is going to loop this animation now. So if I click on the plane now, so you see it's now doing a wave kind of um effect. Okay, so thanks for watching this awesome tutorial. If you do enjoy this tutorial, make sure you hit the subscribe. And the bell notification button so you get notified once i share an awesome tutorial like this okay so if you did enjoy this tutorial i have a course on animation sculpting and every single thing you need to know about blender so check the course on the description link okay see you guys on the next tutorial